Hey, what's going on everybody? How's everyone doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Ken Cloutier of GetMotivatedForSuccess.com and I live down in South Florida, down in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, where I teach network marketers and entrepreneurs how to uh, generate leads for your business, how to sponsor more reps for your business, and ultimately how to make more money. So, do you want to know kind of what marketing is in a nutshell? I'm going to like break it down to you in its simplest forms of the, you know, the six step secret to marketing and growing your online business. I'm sorry for the, the sun here, it's a little in my eyes, but I have some notes with me here because I wrote them down. I wanted to make sure that I get all six of them and explain what I want to explain with these secrets. Okay, so if you're looking to grow a network marketing business, if you're looking to grow a direct sales business, if you're looking to you know, grow an internet business, these are going to work for you online, right? These are the online marketing methods. Unfortunately, most people don't teach marketing. They just teach spamming and sharing links and all of that. So anyway, I'm gonna give you the six steps, all right? So the first one is to collect. Collect more eyeballs, collect more names. Um, another, in, in essence, build your audience, right? Begin to build a following of people, and I'm gonna share with you how to do that, but that's the first step, is to build an audience. The only way, I mean, think about all the different companies that you know, like, and trust right now, right? Nike, for example. Nike has an audience, right? There are people, now you may or may not buy Nike sneakers every now and again, or every so often, or maybe you've never bought a pair, but Nike has an audience of people that buy their sneakers all the time, they're on their email list, right? They're getting updates of the Nike company, and that's just Nike, that could be, you could fill in the blank with any company, but Nike has an audience, they have a target market, right? What up, Dale, how you doing? Um, so, so, you know, you want, to, you want to begin to collect eyeballs on you. You want to be able to collect an audience and, and build an audience. So that's the first step is collection. Collect names, collect people. Number two is capture, right? Capture. So what capturing is, is obviously you have an audience. You may or may not know their names, but the goal here is to capture their name and email in exchange for something of value. So you may have a uh, a newsletter, you may have a PDF uh, uh, document of the top 10 ways to lose weight in 20 minutes a day or less. You may have a ebook, a 30 page ebook. Thanks for the likes, guys, by the way. Um, you may have a 30 page ebook that talks about, you know, the, the simple free methods of marketing your internet business or whatever, right? You have a freebie, a freebie, a giveaway that you're giving away to people in exchange for their name and email. Now, the only way that you're gonna get somebody to give their name and email is if your freebie answers or helps them solve a question or a problem that they're having. So the only way that somebody's gonna give you your, their email, name and email, is if you give them something that they want, something that they can find useful. Think about yourself. I mean, what makes you opt into certain people's information? It's probably like a, a webinar that they're gonna give away or, or you know, a PDF or an ebook or a, a strategy session, a coaching session. Something that interests you will make you put your name and email in. So your goal then is to um, give, what have the gift given away is me? <laughs> well, hey, Dale, you, there may be some people that'll jump on the bandwagon and some people that will jump off. Who knows? <laughs> Good question. So you want to capture, you want to capture names and emails in exchange for the value, right? The value that you give to them, the information, the knowledge that you're giving to them, right? So number two is capture. Number three, communicate. So once they get on your email list, and I've shared videos about, you know, why it's important to develop an email list, but Here's, the, here's the, the generality of why you want to build an email list. So once they get on your email list, now you can communicate with them, right? You can continue to build that, that relationship, that know, like, and trust factor, um, you know, and, and continue to, to build your audience, you know, share with them different tips that you have, different social media posts that you've put on, 
just start to build that relationship. When they start to hear you, you know, every day or every week, what happens is, you know, they're going to start to recognize you. They're going to start to know, like, and trust you. And so you want to you wanna build that trust. You want to build that relationship through your list. And really, you know, the, I guess the best way to say how to communicate with your list is, like, keep them in the loop. They should be, or excuse me, you should be the, like the go-to person when it comes to whatever niche that you're in. You know, they could Google, you know, how to generate leads, let's say, and there's 150,000 other people that are doing that, but if they're on your list, you should be like the go-to person to keep them in the loop. Hey guys, I found a new way to generate leads online using social media. Hey guys, I found a new way to use Instagram to get more sales in my business. Like you be that person, that go-to person, that that wealth of information that you can continue to share with them and provide value on your email list. That's how you can communicate with them. And then number four would be close, right? Let's, you know, this is about making sales and having people join your business team. So the, the benefit of having people on your email list that you're continuing to give value, you're continuing to build that know, like, and trust factor. They like you, you're, you're giving them tons of information, you're keeping them in the loop, but you can also expose your opportunities, Dale, not yourself, but your opportunities, you can expose over and over and offer products, um, you know, offer an opportunity for them to work with you in business, and you don't come across as like some slimy salesperson because they already like you, you're already keeping them in the loop, they, they get some value from you, but you can continue to offer them different cool things. Maybe you have a program that you, that you, um, that you made. Maybe you're offering a coaching boot camp. Maybe you're offering mentorship. Maybe you're offering a, uh, you know, an ebook that they can buy from you for ten bucks or whatever. And and you offer that over and over and over again. But you don't do it. It's not in a in a negative way. It's not like you're hardcore selling them. It's hey guys, I found a way new to way to you know. Um, generate leads on Instagram, here it is, and oh yeah, you know, P.S., by the way, if you're interested in learning, you know, the, the 20 steps that I took to build my business from, gra- from ground zero to what it is today, you know, click here and you can check out more. And it might be an ebook where I share how I built my business from ground zero to where it is today, right? I'm just using an example of how you can give information, but then kind of like a Diane Hockman always calls it the whisper. I'm like, oh yeah, hey, by the way, if you're interested in getting mentored, you know, you can be mentored by me. You know, click here, that type of thing. So, so close, you know, you can expose your offer, product, service, or opportunity over and over. It's basically, you know, it's almost like you're suggesting and recommending, right? I've done it a number of times when I've bought like a Ray Higdon course and I'm giving some good value to my email list and I might at the end of my email say, hey, by the way, just in case anybody's interested, you know, I just picked up this new course by Ray Higdon about, you know, how to sponsor 20 people in your business. For those of you that may be interested, you can check it out here. It's literally just like a soft sell, like, hey, you might want to, hey, if you're interested, you can check it out. It's not like, did you buy my product? Did you buy this? Did you buy that? Will you please buy? Right? It, it's just a very hang loose, just, hey guys, I picked it up. If you want to go through it with me, let's do go through it together. You can get the course here. Boom. Boom. So number four is close. Again, I'm talking about the six secret um, steps basically to marketing. It's like marketing in a nutshell. So, so far it's collect names, build an audience, capture their names and emails, communicate, communicate with them through your email list, close, which is where you can expose your offer, product, service opportunity over and over and over again so you don't come across as a straight up saleswoman or salesperson, salesman, however you have to say it nowadays. Um, And then number five is content, right? Content. There's basically three ways to give content. And I have a bunch of videos on this too, but you know, audio, video, or a post are, are, you know, written, right? Those are the three main ways that you can create and share content through audio, like a podcast, through video, like I'm doing right now, or a post. Maybe you have a blog or even posting on Facebook. But the beautiful thing about content is you can create your own content. Like what I'm doing now is I'm creating content. This is like a live shot. This is, I'm just, the here and now, I'm creating it right now. But you can also create content 
Um, yeah, that's exactly right, Dale. Dale said that's, that's what everybody does is refer people to the things that we love. And, um, do it, but do it as a professional. We figured out how to get paid for it. Exactly right. Exactly right. It's referring. Hey, just in case that might you want you might want to know. Boom, 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 boom. Now they don't feel like they're being sold. Great point, Dale. Thank you for making that. So the content. Three ways to 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 share content: audio, video, or like a blog post or a Facebook post. But as I said, you can create it yourself, right? Like I'm doing right now. I'm creating it myself, or you can curate it. Some of the best content that I've ever had or seen is when somebody curates it. They say, hey, you know, for example, they may be like, hey, I saw this awesome video by Gary Vaynerchuk. Check this out. This is hot. This is fire, right? And then they share it. You watch Gary V's video and you learn something. So you don't have to feel like you have to be, you know, the Encyclopedia Britannica. And for those of you that are too young to know that, that's where like you get like, all these books called encyclopedias where that's how we used to do our research back in the day, right? A through Z of every topic known to man that we had at the time. And it was like a library of encyclopedias. Well, you don't have to worry about being the Encyclopedia Britannica of content. You can actually take other people's content and give them credit for it now and share it and share it. Or if you decide to use other people's content, like for example, let's say you wanted to use these six things that I'm listing today and you want to use it as content, you don't copy it word for word. What you do is you take notes. You say, you know, hey, um, you know, I saw this video that Ken Cloutier did. You know, these are the six things, blah, 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 blah. And you put it in your own words. So you can create your content or you can curate content. All right? That's a, that's a key thing right there. Either way, as long as... It is helping, solving problems, entertaining, educating people in your target audience. It's going to be effective, all right? So number five was content. And then the last one, number six, is be consistent. Do this daily until like it becomes part of you. If I don't create some kind of content, now I may not be on live every single day, but you know I may not blog every single day, but every single day I'm creating some kind of content. I'm doing a post, I'm shooting a video, I'm writing a blog, I'm sharing something on Facebook or Instagram, I'm curating content from somewhere else and sharing it through Facebook to my audience. I'm always, every day, looking and seeking for knowledge, not only for myself, but to also share it with other people. And so do this on a daily, consistent basis, so that way, that's how you're going to ultimately build your audience is by being consistent. Be consistent and people will start looking out for you. They'll start looking out for your lives. They'll start looking out for your YouTube when you, when you, um, you know, upload a video on YouTube. Subscribers and stuff will start looking out for that. Be consistent. Don't do it for you know, a week straight and then take four weeks off and then come back and do one video and then take another two weeks off. And, you, know, you get my point. You want to be consistent every day. Curate or create content that's going to help people in your target audience. You will build a list. You'll start capturing names and emails. You'll be able to send and communicate with those people on a daily basis, right? Um, immersion in the subject. Become the subject. Amen, right? That's absolutely right, Dale. You know, become the subject. Become what you're talking about. Live it. Be it. And, and you will have people that will not only follow you, not only give you their email and, and you know, name, but they'll also start to buy from you. They'll start to maybe join your business. It may not happen right away. It could be six months from now. I have people on my email list that have never bought from me. I also have people on my email list that have been on it for over a year, and now they recently bought something. So it's just, you never know what's gonna set them off to wanna buy, but you have to be at the top of their mind. Right? You have to be in front of them in order for you to get that sale or to get that sign up. If they forget about you, then they're probably not going to buy from you. So I hope these six things made sense to you. If, um, if it did, feel free to comment below, comment right below, and uh, you know, feel free to share this, curate this information, right? Hey guys, I found six cool ways that you can you know, you know, explain marketing in a nutshell. You know, here's, here's the six things, and you can share this. and. People, you don't have to worry about people coming to me necessarily, 
because you shared it, they're gonna like you because you shared it. You tip them off on some good information and they're gonna come back to you to say, hey, wow, so-and-so shared good information. Wow, what other information do they have that they can share? So don't be afraid to share other people's content. I do it all the time. I love it. it, you, know, it it's, you don't always have to be the master and create, but you want to do whatever it is you decide to do, do it on a daily basis because that is ultimately going to help you build your business. So that's all I have for you. For those of you that want to get more tips and tricks on, on, on marketing, right? Thank you, Dale. I appreciate it, man. Appreciate that. Um, for those of you that do want to get you know, more tips on you know, internet marketing, how to market your business, how to build your brand, click on the link right below here. I have another um, really cool, it's a PDF, I, it's 21 internet, internet Marketing Hacks. 21 Internet Marketing Hacks to grow your business. I put that together so you can grab it. It's completely free. Just click on the link right below, enter your name and information, and uh, you can get my free PDF of 21 internet marketing hacks. So there you have it, guys. I enjoyed sharing with you guys. Shane, what's going on, man? Great to see you on as well. As always, thanks for the interaction. Dale, it's been real. It's always cool seeing you on as well. And if you guys have any questions whatsoever, you know, hit me up, drop a comment below. I'd be happy to answer any questions you may have. And if there's some information that you um, you know, you want to know about questions that you have, drop me a comment, message me, do something, reach out to me and let me know. Cause I can always go live and maybe share, uh, you know, the information that you're looking for on these live broadcasts. So anyway, I'm going to shut up now cause I'm rambling, but in click the link below. If you want to get those 21 internet marketing hacks, enjoy sharing with you guys as always some bird keeps making a lot of noise and I hope he doesn't poop on me or she or whoever, but anyway, it's been real. This is Ken Cloutier of GetMotivatedForSuccess.com down in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Take care. Be easy. Peace out.